ஹலோ நமஸ்கார் வணக்கம் எஸ்டர்டே ஒன் பர்டிகுலர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஹூ வாஸ் நாட் என்ரோல்ட் இன் டு இதர் ஆர் ஜியோகிராஃபி கோர்ஸ் ஆர் இன் டு ஆர் டெஸ்ட் சீரீஸ் கமெண்டட் ஆன் யூடியூப் சேயிங் தட் வை டூ கிவ் சச் டஃப் டஸ் டெஸ்ட் பேப்பர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் இட்ஸ் ரியலி வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் டு சால்வ் தோஸ் டெஸ்ட் பேப்பர்ஸ் ஐ வாண்ட் டு டெல் திஸ் ஜென்டில்மேன் ஹூ ஹர் ஆப்வியஸ்லி ஸ்டோலன் ஆர் டெஸ்ட் பேப்பர்ஸ் தேட் எக்ஸெப்ட் ஃபார் ஒன் கொஸ்டின் except one question in this geography paper of today all the other questions are there in our test papers that is the extent of our accuracy that is the level of our preparation so while you may have benefited after having stolen the notes just like that guy last year had done so stealing our english language notes and today runs a youtube channel i wish you well and i do hope that you will not continue with these kind of dishonest practices in your future life let's now look at the geography paper pretty straight forward paper and i say so obviously because all these questions were there in our test papers the map marking is pretty simple vindhya mountains yamuna kolkata kanchenjunga lake chilka konkan coastal plain thar desert kambat gulf of kambat and the northeastern monsoon wind and mumbai high okay standard meridian and those kind of more controversial things himalayas etc did not come In fact one board examiner told me that the Ganges and the Himalayas have never been asked in the board papers I haven't checked it independently but this is what he told me is a very senior board examiner okay the first one run one from the minerals and energy resources you have the question paper I'll read out what should be the ideal answer like and I will probably mention whatever two three points so that if you have mentioned one or two of them depending on the marks aapko pata chal jayega ki aapke marks pure aa jayenge pehla wala hai give any one use of copper ओके okay, ये उस दिन यूट्यूब पे भी यही क्वेश्चन किया था कॉपर इज यूज्ड इन इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लायसेस ये वन मार्क का है तो सीधा मिल जाएगा इट इज यूज्ड इन इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लायसेस अगर आप रीजन देना चाहें यू कैन मेंशन दैट इट हैज हाई थर्मल एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी हाईली मिलियबल एंड डक्टाइल सो दैट शुड बी फाइन एक मार्क मिल जाएगा नेम टू इंडियन स्टेट इन विच आय ओर इज फाउंड इन एबंडस ओडिशा छत्तीसगढ़ मैंशन कर सकते हैं ओडिशा कर्नाटका मैंशन कर सकते हैं दैट शुड बी फाइन एनी टू इज वॉट दे हैव आस्ट हाफ हाफ मार्क मिल जाएगा Next question is uh, with reference to the Hirakot project answer the following on which river it is based Mahanadi river name an indian state benefited by the Hirakot project Odisha uh, give three disadvantages of using coal okay and this is a three mark question so you need to be very clear cost of production and transportation is very high there is large scale pollution that is caused both at the site of mining also at the place of use there are limited reserves of coal in india 3 point ho gaye chautha point ek aur bata deta hu the calorific value of coal found in india is very low in teen in charon mein se koi bhi 3 points mention kiye honge to aapke 3 marks pocket mein ho jayenge mention two advantages of nuclear power one it saves on raw material and uh, transport cost of nuclear power is 20 fuel is 20% of the cost of the energy generated and it reduces the amount of energy this should be the first point generated from fossil fuels like coal and oil and lowers the greenhouse gas emissions these two points need to be mentioned when you are talking about the advantages of nuclear power what is the advantage what is the advantage of using solar energy in place of the conventional sources of energy one it is a renewable source of energy keyword please mention this i hope you have mentioned this and it can be harnessed in most parts of the world in india for example there are 300 days where you get sunlight and it number 2 uh, do puche ek puche ek hi pucha hai to ek number ke liye ek kafi hai but in case if you have written it saves on fossil fuels like coal and petroleum even that will be fine okay let's move to the agriculture chapter the font says both kam hai isliye i am struggling to read this mention two problems faced by agriculture sector of india one is the unreliable and erratic rainfall uske bare mein thoda statistics agar aap dena chahe to wo bhi de sakte hain nearly 55% of the zone area depends on the rainfall it is under rain fed condition so agar barish nahi hui to usse farak padta hai there is lack of irrigation facilities usi connected point mein bhi aap likh sakte hain dusra big uh, problem do problems puche na yeah so soil erosion ke bare mein aap likh sakte hain ki uh, इससे काफ़ी वैल्यूएबल क्रॉप लैंड को लॉस होता है बाय ओवर ग्रेजिंग इन डिस्क्रिमिनेट कटिंग ऑफ ट्रीज फॉल्टी लैंड प्रैक्टिस लैक ऑफ क्रॉप रोटेशन दैट्स अनदर बिग मेजर प्रॉब्लम फेस बाय द एग्रीकल्चर इन इंडिया तीसरा देना चाहें तो मेथड्स ऑफ कल्टिवेशन के बारे में बात कर सकते हैं दैट देर आर ओल्ड एंड इनफिशियंट मेथड्स ऑफ फार्मिंग विच आर स्टिल यूज इन मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया देर इज इनएडिकुएट इरीगेशन फैसिलिटीज एंड द इनबिलिटी ऑफ फार्मर्स टू बाई गुड क्वालिटी फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड सीड्स ओके एंड इवन मॉडर्न इक्विपमेंट 
सो दीज आर द थ्री उनमें से दो मैंशन किए होंगे तो आपको मार्क्स मिल जाएंगे मैंशन एनी वन क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन फाउंड सुटेबल फॉर ग्रोइंग कॉटन इट नीड्स यूनिफॉर्मली हाई टेम्परेचर बिटवीन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इट नीड्स एटलीस्ट टू हंड्रेड फ्रॉस्ट फ्री डेज एंड मॉडरेट रेनफॉल ऑफ अबाउट फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर इन तीनों में से एक भी कंडीशन लिख दिया होगा तो आपके uh, एक मार्क मिल जाएगा नेम द स्टेट दैट इज द लीडिंग प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ कॉटन इन द कंट्री गुजरात ओके नेक्स्ट आता है विद रेफरेंस टू राइस कल्टिवेशन आंसर द फॉलोइंग नेम द सॉइल फाउंड सुटेबल फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ पैडी विच इज डीप फर्टाइल क्ले और लोमी सॉइल नेम द स्टेट दैट इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ दिस क्रॉप इन इंडिया दैट इज राइस का वेस्ट बेंगाल नंबर सी इन विच क्रॉपिंग सीजन इट इज ग्रोन इन इंडिया खरीफ क्रॉप फोर्थ इज नेम द स्टेट दैट इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ शुगर केन इन इंडिया उत्तर प्रदेश Why more than two return crops are not advisable for sugarcane farmers? Agriculture questions are very easy. The yield from each successive return crop is less than the previous one. Okay, so after two or maybe three returns, the old returns are not economical, and new sets have to be planted. So also there is a risk of pests and diseases, and the yield from each successive return is less than the previous one, which is why. It says why more than two return crops are not advisable for the sugarcane farmers. The third question is what is the zayad? Zayed cropping season. It is the third apart from Kharif and Rabi. It is the third uh, category of crops uh, which are uh, sown in August and September and harvested in December and January. And uh, they are the quick yielding or seasonal crops. Okay, uh, that's what the Zayed uh, season is, and they become the extra crop that the farmers grow in order to supplement the income. So the cropping season is apart from what is in Kharif or Rabi, and it's sometimes used in the middle of a. Uh, between the kharif and the rabi season they are mainly mainly known as seasonal crops okay that is as far as zayad is concerned next let's go to the agro and mineral based industry differentiate between the mineral and agro based industries agro based on raw depends on raw material comes from agriculture sector right the products are consumer goods cotton jute tea sugarcane coffee textile these are all the uh, agro based industries the mineral based industry they use both minerals both metallic and non metallic they undergo various ferrous and non ferrous metallurgical processes iron and steel cement fertilizers etc are the mineral based industries give two ways in which petrochemical industry is important for india it produces cost effective and economically stable and cheaper goods it fulfills the needs of other industries like telecom plastic textiles etc and also it's not dependent on agriculture for its raw material and therefore it does not put any pressure on the farmer isme se do likh diye ho to aapko marks mil jayenge with reference to the tata steel plant answer the following where is it located jamshedpur uh where from where does it get uh, its coal uh, requirement uh, the uh, jharia and bokaro coal fields uh, iron ore comes from singbhum in jharkhand and mayurbhanj in uh, odisha okay name any two by products of the शुगर किन शुगर इंडस्ट्रीज मोलासिस और बगा से प्रेस मट भी लिख सकते हैं वाई आर द कॉटन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्रीज मोस्टली लोकेटेड इन द कोस्टल एरियाज बिकॉज ऑफ द ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द कॉटन क्रॉप बिकॉज इट फेवर्स द टेक्सटाइल मेकिंग विदाउट ब्रेकिंग द थ्रेड ओके सो वी एंड विद द इंडस्ट्रीज थिंग हियर लेट्स नाउ मूव टू द ट्रांसपोर्ट क्वेश्चन मैंशन टू एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग रोडवेज इट कनेक्ट टू रिमोट विलेजेस एंड स्मॉल टाउन एंड हेल्प इन द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ पीपल the roads can be constructed even in difficult terrain uh, the construction cost of road is lower than other modes of transport like rail and air in particular it acts as feeders you know it helps in door to door service isme se kitne likhne aapko do advantages likhne koi bhi do likh diye honge to aapko mil jayega next one is what's the purpose of developing the golden quadrilateral in india majorly to reduce the distance and travel time between the four mega cities delhi mumbai chennai and kolkata mention kiye honge to acha rahega in the process it enables it has enabled the industrial development of many small towns uh, which which fall in the route between these four metropolitan cities okay it has also provided impetus to the truck transport wo ek extra point bhi aap likh sakte hain do marks ka question hai mention three disadvantages of waterways one it depends on the weather conditions right because agar heavy storm rainfall wagara hoga to nahi you cannot operate the ship or the boat it needs long traveling hours these are the disadvantages right long and three disadvantages puchein long traveling hours it can lead to sea sickness especially in oceanic waterways uh, 
it is limited to areas where you have a water body and navigable water body right and an all season like summer season may if the river bed goes dry you cannot operate the waterways on those uh, rivers okay uh, it cannot travel in peninsular india where the rivers are seasonal they're not perennial they're rain fed and marked by a lot of uh, waterfalls and uh, yeah waterfalls and silting of the river bed so these are the disadvantages of this thing isme se koi bhi teen likh diye honge to aapko marks mil jayenge uh, give a reason for the following railways are not well developed in the north eastern states of india difficult terrain forest areas mountains streams okay then air transport has gained popularity in recent time in india it is a fastest mode of transport more competition and lower fares connects to far flung areas remote areas it is also helpful in natural calamities ek ek mark ka hai isse chota bhi likh do to chal jayega okay i'm giving you all options jo ki aapne kisi ne bhi ye isme se koi bhi point likhe honge to aap accordingly you can calculate how many marks you will get and it's a one mark question nsew is helpful for india it boosts the economy by connecting various small towns and business centers with the major towns of the country because it extends from srinagar to kanyakumari from porbandar to silchar okay last one the waste management why is there a need for waste management in large metropolitan cities ye bhi humne wo youtube ke us video mein kiya tha because uh, the waste management in the cities because without an effective waste management uh, strategy the cities will be saddled with lots of waste uh, and that will lead to pollution it will lead to diseases in the cities and uh, it also if it is waste is dumped it will ruin the beauty of the place and as i said spread of diseases दो मार्क का क्वेश्चन है एंड तीसरा कॉजेस पोल्यूशन ऑफ वाटर इंक्लूडिंग द ग्राउंड वाटर दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट विल लीड टू फाउल स्मेल एंड इफ यू इफ यू इंडल्ज इन अनसाइंटिफिक एंड अनकंट्रोल्ड बर्निंग ऑफ वेस्ट दैट विल रिलीज टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेस इनटू द एनवायरनमेंट एंड कॉज एयर पोल्यूशन ओके सो यू कैन मेंशन ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स व्हाई इज कंपोस्टिंग व्हाई इज कंपोस्टिंग कंसीडर्ड अ सेफ मेथड ऑफ वेस्ट डिस्पोजल इसमें कीवर्ड सेफ है इस पर कंपोस्टिंग के एडवांटेजेस नहीं लिखने हैं सेफ क्यों है इसके बारे में पूछा गया सो आई होप यू हैव नॉट मेड अ मिस्टेक इन दैट वन इट इज सेफ बिकॉज इट काइंड ऑफ प्रिवेंट्स प्लांट डिजीजेस राइट नंबर टू इट एब्सॉर्ब्स ऑर्डर एंड काइंड ऑफ चेक्स द सॉइल इरोशन इट प्रिवेंट्स पोल्यूशन दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बाई प्रिवेंटिंग द पोल्यूटेंट्स फ्रॉम इन स्टॉम वाटर फ्रॉम ड्रेनिंग इन द water bodies okay uh, so in this way this is uh, considered a safe method of waste disposal okay uh, because and you, you you could have done well to also explain what is composting saying that bacteria and other microorganisms break down the waste the biodegradable waste and produce a safe clean material called compost okay which is a soil like uh, material okay so you can you could have mentioned that and mentioned the to uh, do marker question so two met two reasons one or two of the three would have been okay why should we reuse waste we should reuse waste because it keeps the goods and materials out of the sanitary landfill out of landfills and reduces the need for new landfills or incinerators uh, it generates new business it generates employment opportunities it decreases the demand on natural resources and we will also lessen the impact on our fresh water location the water bodies also the pressure on agriculture and it also lowers the frequency of natural disasters how can farm waste be made useful as fertilizers for the fields also as biogas gobar gas then last one uh, how is dumping of waste harmful uh, because when waste material is dumped in open low uh, lands away from the city um, uh, it is also environment uh, unfriendly and also unhygienic and unhealthy it becomes a breeding ground for rodents rats mosquitoes insects etc it leads to harmful diseases it gives a foul odor and when it is burned it leads to air pollution and during the monsoon it kind of finds its way into different water bodies so dumping of waste absolute no no it's considered uh, very harmful last question mention three ways to reduce waste generation at home this is more of a gk kind of a question frankly speaking i'll give you four or five ways by recycling old products okay especially if you are using any bottles plastic bottles wagera instead of use and throw karne ke bajaye you can reuse them you can compost biodegradable waste such as the kitchen waste you can use reusable bags especially those of cloth jute etc 
you can indulge in paperless billing instead of getting that bill this thing you can say okay merko paperless e copy de do i don't need a physical copy so you can reduce the paper ka consumption and you should not use disposable water cups or bottles etc so these are the four five ways isme se aapne teen likh diye honge to aapke teen mark mil jayenge so this was the rather straightforward geography paper i hope all of you have done very well the feedback from my students at least is that they have done very well okay so all the best to you i think now you have the hindi examination we have a wonderful absolutely wonderful sws classroom chat with a very senior hindi teacher sunil dar sharma sir coming up that will come up in the evening please do go and have a look at it it's an exhaustive interview which will tell you exactly how you should study revise and implement those strategies during the hindi examination so absolutely don't miss interview agar aapko hindi mein acche marks chahiye to sunil sir ko zarur suniye so i'll catch you then thank you very much for watching